All right, this is a Ian Lamont Sloan Fellow video blog, and tonight I'm at a club event that I just happened to find out about in uh, E62, and what attracted me and a couple other fellows was the fact that there was free food, uh, but also there's some really interesting stuff on the floor, and I'm gonna do an interview with uh, someone who's working on a very interesting D-Lab project. And this D-Lab project basically is a washing machine intended for developing uh, countries, and as you'll see, uh, the construction is really simple. It's meant to be really cheap, and um, it's, let's let's take a look and see what it's all about. Getting their cameras out. What are we looking at right now? What is this okay, device? So this is the BC Lavadora, a pedal-powered, a portable pedal-powered washing machine. Okay. Um, and basically, you can see that the bike is able to fold in to next to the uh, to the oil drum, and right. here you can see the handle that you can just pick it up and um, go on your merry way. Okay. And so it's mainly targeted towards initially it's targeted towards women who go house to house washing clothes by hand. Right. Um, so this is basically a business tool for them to be able to more effectively uh, go through their business and. Okay. Able to wash more clothes and actually charge more right. um, for, their, for their service. Um, and so that's why we made it portable initially. Okay. Um, but we actually found that, I mean, if you can imagine being able to um, move your washing machine around, right. like, that's pretty cool, you know, if, especially um, if you're sharing it between uh, between families in a particular community, for example, right. um, which is another, another way that we're thinking about implementing this, of um, families coming together and using it, you'd need a way um, to be able to move from house to house. Okay, and the, and the idea is, is to use kind of items you can find exactly, in any, yeah. like a part of a bicycle, exactly. oil drum, uh, kind of a chain thing. Yeah. And how, how, much, how, many, how much clothes and water can fit in here? And can, it, can uh, someone reasonably turn it around? I mean, it right. seems like it might be pretty heavy. Right, it is pretty heavy, but we kept the, um, the gearing system for the typical bike. Okay. So that you can uh, gear it up and down as you, as you need Oh, to. I see. Um, so that you can have the both like the wash and spin mode. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, if it does become a little bit more difficult, you can gear it down basically. Okay. Um, and then gear it back up when you want to take all your water out. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so yeah, it is. There aren't any like special kits that you need to make one of these. Okay. Um, I mean, since it's so modular, you need just a drum, a bike, and a, and some sort of dolly basically that you could even make out of. Okay. Out of, normal sheet stock or stock metal basically. What's the estimated cost of making one of these devices? Um, so it cost us about $120. Right. Um, but that, that's what it cost us and we got a lot of things. Um, <laughs> we didn't necessarily bargain for them just okay. because we needed them for a class, but if you were to do it overseas, um, it, you'd be able to get it a lot cheaper. I mean, we, we've talked to people and they said, like, yeah, you'd be able to get things a lot cheaper over there. Okay. Um, yeah. And, and what's your name and what program that you're doing this for? So um, this is in connection with MIT's D-Lab. Okay. Um, Amy Smith is the founder and organizer, so you can look her up um, if you're yeah. more interested. Um, but yeah, it's, like it's a, basically a collaboration of classes at MIT that focuses on developing the technologies that are appropriate for the developing for the developing world. Okay. Um, and things that will fit their needs as, as they see fit, not necessarily as we see fit. Right. Um, and being able to teach them and enable them uh, to be able to create the, the, those technologies on their own instead of having to rely on outside uh, forces or outside people to create them for them. Okay. Well, Benji, thank you very much. Yes. And also, Benji, what's your last name? Benji Monsivas. Monsivas. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. The rust. Um, the water does end up. The water does end up touching it and then touching the 